After the drawing, well, yesterday we showed you a Youngstown man who took home more than $300,000 at the Queen of Hearts drawing at Cricket's Bar. But is all the work worth it? First News reporter Amanda Smith talked to a bowling alley owner who helped give away $3 million last year. And he says he can't wait to do it again. When the Queen of Hearts drawing started at Skylane Bowling, owner Aaron King had no idea it would get so large. We're, we're kind of lucky here. We have a big facility, a lot of parking, but when you, we started getting over 5,000 people to a drawing, then it created concerns around the, the plaza. The game draws in lots of business, so much so that businesses often close the day after a drawing to recover. The cards aren't drawn right. You could have what happened here, and uh, next thing you know, you got thousands in your parking lot. The games walk a fine line between gambling and contest. The Queen of Hearts game is really just the latest game that's come up that, you know, is kind of like gambling, but is not necessarily prohibited by state law. It truly is in a gray area. Tierney says the state government has been talking about regulations, and King says he expects it to come soon. It wouldn't hurt to uh, have some sort of regulations on, on the tickets and that. Um, I, I foresee it coming in the future at some point in time, but uh, for the most part, just kind of let us do our thing because uh, the, the people love it and it's a lot of fun. Skylanes has another drawing starting September 17th. That one will be worth at least $13,000, but the pot will only grow from there. In Garrettsville, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.